Hey everybody, this is Jim with JB Gaming here. Um, you know, I was thinking about it. I actually should upload a video going over all the unlocks and things that you can get in the game and what level and uh, whatnot. Especially for the people that do not have the game yet, plan on getting it for the Xbox 360. Pretty much, I'm is going to be a mirror copy of the game. Um, as you can see, I'm level 12 right now. I actually played, uh, you know, all the game modes pretty much. Uh, on the classic attrition uh, so I actually it was really looking forward to capture a flag and I played the game mode and it was a little bit disheartening because um, for one instance I wasn't a big fan of this on um, Black Ops 2 and other um, I believe it's on Call of Duty Ghosts as well with capture flag when you get the flag um, you're, you're on the mini map and uh, even on the map it just it says flag type thing so it, it, it really makes it hard for you to be you know sneaky try to get the flag behind enemy lines and then sneak it out to your area without getting seen it's pretty much when you get that flag you um you know have a big bullseye on you so even when you cloak they can still see it so that's kind of you know disheartening to me i was really hoping it would be a little bit differently maybe you know it, it's going to cause for more teamwork i guess you're not going to be able to play the mode really and do well by yourself uh, you're gonna need some people to help you out with so i was you know that I was a little bit, you know, put off by that. Um, I was hoping for more. The only note thing I noticed really that was upsetting about this game, if anything, actually, because the game is extremely fun, is uh, the the noticeable uh, frame rate drops or some tearing that's happening on the Xbox One, um, especially when you have a bunch of Titans around the area and stuff. There will be a little bit of frame rate drop or slight tearing of the screen, um, of the you know, when you're playing it. So, it was, you know, it was a little frustrating there because it lagged somewhat, it seemed like. But um, hopefully they can address that in a the patch. They said they're going to release uh, post-launch. Um, they were talking about addressing some um, um, resolution issues because it's 729p right now. Or 792, I'm sorry. Uh, they upped it from 720 to 792. And I don't know if that's what's causing the frame rate drops or whatnot. But they're going to be looking into that and hopefully they can address these issues in the post-launch uh, um, post update here soon. Um, but, uh, going into the campaign, like it, it was what I thought it was. And what you guys seen is just a mixed game mode. Um, the story, you know, it's, it's hit or miss, but you know, the main reason to play that campaign is so you can actually, um, unlock some Titans, which I'll go that, go that in a little bit here. We're first, we're going to start out pilot loadouts. Um, you know, basically your primary weapons are these, um, I believe you start out with the three top and then um, you move down. I'm just going to highlight them again. You can pause the video if you want. Um, you know that way you can see what levels you have to be to get them. Uh, these are all the you know the primary weapons right here. So uh, the G2, the Hemlock, uh, SMG. Again, pause the video if you need to because I'm going to kind of go a little bit quicker because I don't want to take up a lot of your guys' time. I am curious about the uh, like the weapons. I tried the Kraber, uh, Kraber Sniper before. That's pretty good. Uh, and uh, I tried SMG. Uh, it's it's pretty good with the hip fire. And the other guns I have not tried that are locked. All these other ones up top, like I tried the Smart Pistol. So far I'm liking R101C Carbine. That's pretty much a go-to weapon. Um, I used uh, HCOG. Um, yeah, as you can see, you get the sights for those. Um, just kind of going over a little bit so you can see them all. There is a lot. A lot of all the, the um, attachments are you have to complete challenges, which are uh, labeled at the bottom there. I can't actually show you the attachments all these, but you should get an idea what they are going to be since uh, pretty much the, I'm guessing they're pretty much the same. Like the carbine would be the same. The stuff, the three sights would probably be the same thing for the assault rifles that are locked. Um, you got the anti-titan weapons. Uh, so far, I'm liking the Sidewinder. The Sidewinder, it doesn't lock on, um, but it's free firing, and it fires a lot. So if you can actually get, get in close to your Titan, it will cause a lot of damage. It's one of the most popular weapons uh, for anti-titan. I have yet to try out these other ones, which may be even better at higher levels. Uh, just giving you a look at those. Unlock at 22 and 33. That 33 looks awesome. Uh, that charge rifle. Yeah, that's probably going to be the my fave one after that because the magazine capacity is 500 and damage is off the charts. Um, your sidearms basically just have the three pistols. Um, I, I've been running the Hammond. Just, I, I, the auto pistol is all right and all, but I, I like the damage with the Hammond and I don't mind you know spamming the trigger button to get that. Um, again, that's a level 27 right there. 
that I'm I'm curious. I'm guessing it's gonna probably be um, uh, uh what, what's the gun I'm thinking of? Oh, I can't think of it right now. Um, but that, as you can tell, it's it's a revolver, so you need to gonna have you're gonna have to have some good aim with that one. But I, again, I think it's gonna be pretty pretty powerful. Um, tactical abilities. So far, I'm liking a cloak. Uh, the cloak's great. I mean, you can see when someone's cloaked. Um, but when they're, you know, not really paying attention to you and you're trying to run off the side and sneak by and stuff, cloak is really, um, nice to have. It basically will just make you invisible predator like, and, uh, you can sneak, uh, behind defenses and, um, you know, surprise them, get some good kills. Uh, the stem, it's basically just gives you a little bit of a boost, uh, with movement with in, uh, health regeneration faster. Um, you can regen, uh, faster as well. Um, it's all right. I used it a couple times, but you know, I really missed having the cloak. So I went to cloak, um. I haven't got this one yet. Uh, basically, I, I I got this before when I was playing the beta, um, and you'd get a uh, you know a burn card, which this is just it sends a ping and it scans, allowing you to see enemies through walls. Now it doesn't trigger, you know, you know it doesn't pause and trigger and get the scan really fast either. It takes a little bit of time, but it's helpful, and I can see a lot of people probably using it when it becomes available on, uh, at level 19. Um, Ordnance, you got your frag grenade, basic frag grenade. Um, you know, I'm not really liking the, the notification uh, when someone throws a grenade, the big old yellow uh, arrow type thing. It's a little off uh, setting, but, uh, you know, you get used to it. Um, you have your art grenade, which is, um, I think these are awesome. You can actually throw them. They're going to really disorient um, anybody that you hit with them. And, um, the clo you know, it, it's awesome because they can't really see anything. And you can get a good shot or even try to... Um, get by them without them getting you so that that's nice i haven't seen this i'm really curious to see what it's gonna be like with the satchel charge you get at level 17 um it can stick to any surface and you manually detonate it just like a c4 um i'm really excited for the arc mine uh you have to wait till 31 to get it but again it's something that i ran a lot with the uh, claymores or the bouncing betties things like that with call of duty and mine so i'm you know i think i'm gonna like the arc mine uh give me a little bit of help because you know the frag grenades are great but you know, I, a lot of times I'll throw them just to throw them and maybe get a bunch of hit markers, no kills really. So um, that's with the the ordnance. Now the tier one kits, you have your enhanced parkour kit. Now this is nice because it allows you to wall run and wall hang for longer periods of time, which is great if you really want to string out those uh, awesome uh, parkour jumps. And you know, when you do the uh, parkour and you um you, you actually speed up, go faster. So if you could really um, chain some good jumps together you can really navigate through maps incredibly fast um, it's going to take some practice and learning the maps and know where the jumps are at but this will help you um, do that if you really want to go for it uh, you have your explosives pack this increases your ammo capacity so this is nice when you, you know you're you really blast through a lot of ammo and you want to have some extra um, run with this kit now basically I've been I run with explosives but I, I have been switching lately to power cell because it's gonna ex accelerate your recharge for your uh, your stem which is your cloaking ability or if you want to have the stem where you're faster so that's what the power cell um, I haven't re got these yet but I'm really you know mine is the stealth kit which I'm look I'll let go over a little bit but I really look forward to that one but you got the running gun kit it's gonna allow you to fire um, basically pistols uh smgs while you're sprinting so you don't have to stop you know stop your motion um uh, from going fast and you know really navigating you can actually just run and gun so that's gonna be great for those those people that just want to just run through everything so um that's gonna be pretty cool especially if you're gonna do a parkour um to shoot while you're running i can see this being very useful this is at level 36 uh level 42 this one is another big thing with titanfall i'm not too thrilled about but this may make up for it at level 42, you get a quick reload. So basically, uh, the reload speeds are going to be a lot faster. I have noticed the reload speeds are slow. Uh, you can't cancel your reload. So I'm used to getting a kill and reloading. Um, this game, you really don't want to do that. You want to, you know, get as many kills, wait till the ammo gets as low as possible for reloading because with reload, you can't cancel. Once you start it, you can't, you know, sprint to cancel the reload. You have to go through the animation. Lots of times I notice myself getting killed during the reload. So it's really frustrating. You get that level 42. And uh, last on this is uh, the stealth kit. Uh, stealth kit. This is going to be awesome, I think, because I'm, I'm more of a stealthy guy. I want to be silent. I want to be able to sneak up. And this is going to make your footsteps silent. And uh, it's going to also make your jump kit exhaust nearly invisible. So when you do those uh, double jumps and stuff, they're not going to really notice you. 
and you're going to be quiet with the footsteps. So that's, that's really um, important to me, uh, and you're going to get that at level 48. And now uh, for the tier 2 kits, you're basically going to have your dome shield battery. This is just, you know, when your Titan comes down, you're going to have a dome shield. Um, this gonna it, It's going to extend the duration if you have that on. Uh, I run a lot of minion detector because this will actually show uh, both friendly and enemy grunts and specters um, on your mini map at all times. So you know if you're really playing attrition and you want to you know run through and just mow them down all the the bots and stuff, this is what you want to have. And also it does help you sometimes because it kind of gives you a little bit of a clue of where the enemy um, uh, pilots may be running around at. So um, it's good to have minion detector on. Now you have warp fall transmitter. You get this at level 16. This is going to accelerate your Titanfall um, ex you know, a lot, which is great if you really want to try to get those uh, Titanfalls to fall on top of other Titans, or if there's a bunch of enemies fighting, you know what, and you want to drop this uh, Titanfall down, but you know, before you had to wait a couple seconds, this one's going to, you know, it's going to drop down almost instantly. It's going to be awesome to have, and you can really uh, key together some uh, sweet uh, kills if you want to really drop it on the enemy. So that's, that's a neat one to have. You have Dead Man's Trigger. Uh, this auto detonate, uh, detonates all your plant explosives when you're killed. So um, this is kind of like the dead man, dead man hand. You get this at level 37 or like, um, uh, what was it called? Uh, wow, I'm, I'm drawing blank on a lot of these. But um, it's like the dead man's hand, but also uh, uh, Marty Dom. So basically when, you know, it's going to, if you have any plant explosives, uh, planted mind you not just on you they have to be planted so like uh, clay, uh the the mines or the sat they're going to automa automatically detonate so um that's something to have i don't know if a lot of people are going to use it but you do get it at level 37 at uh 43 you're going to have the ice pick this is the modified data knife to increase your speed uh, with which you can hack the specters and turret control panels again i don't see it being a a huge um you know um perk that a lot of people are going to take advantage of Again, it's just going to help you hack, and I, you know, I don't even know how many people really do hack them, hack the specters. I have yet to do it. I know you can, but I do know a lot of people like to take control of the turrets, and uh, you know, those are those are really nice. But you know, I just cloak myself, and you can you can take control of them, and you really don't really need ice pick, I guess. But it's something to look at, try out. You get that at level 43. At level 49, you get the guardian chip. <clears throat> Excuse me, but uh, this is an upgraded targeting system. It's going to allow your auto titan to gauge enemies with better accuracy. So if, if you're one of those guys, the pilots that don't want to run with your titans, you want your titans to follow you around, this might be something to have. It, it's going to help out your titan out, um, be more accurate, and um, you know engage enemies better. So that's everything with the, the tier 2 kits. And then you have your gender, which is a female or a male. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much an overview of that. Going into the, the titan loadouts... You know, you're going to have your uh, basic uh, chassis with the Atlas. You can get the Strider and the Ogre, but the only way you can get that is by playing the campaign mode, which I was talking about earlier. Now, basically, as you can see with the Strider, you're going to have to complete the IMC or the Militia campaign. And then, uh, basically, the same thing with this one. So, um, <clears throat> there was rumor that you're going to have to play it twice. One, you're going to have to play as IMC and beat it. And then, uh, the next time, you're going to have to do it. But as you can see... Um, Oh, yeah, I'm wrong. You do have to get the Strider. You have to beat it with IMC, IMC excuse me, or the Militia. To get the Ogre, you have to beat both. So, um, pretty much your first playthrough, you get that one. Second one, you get that one. Um, you know, I they do have these available. I'll show you here in a second as, um, you know, as you're already pre-load out uh, Titan classes. But you cannot um, switch out weapons, tactical abilities, anything like that. You can still use them, but you're stuck with the weapons and the te um, uh, abilities and stuff that it gives you. So if you really want to customize it, uh, I recommend playing the campaign mode. I mean, it's just playing multiplayer pretty much. You're just playing a mixed mode. Um, and you can unlock these characters uh, for customization. Now you have your primary weapon. Uh, your primary weapon, you have your 40mm uh, cannon. Um, you know... This one is probably the one I use a lot right now because it's a semi-automatic. It is very powerful, as you can see in the damage over there on the right. And um, if you're really good with accuracy, you know, aim for the head, aim for those points on the Titan. This thing is awesome. Uh, you got your quad, uh, quad rocket, which I'm not a big fan of, as, but you can see on the side what it is. Um, you have your chain gun. This is pretty much standard. Um, if you really have a tough time with accuracy, this is the, probably the second go-to gun. And then you have your plasma rail gun. Now, you know what? Now I'm looking at this. I probably want to give this a shot. I haven't tried it out yet again. 
but it's a it's a charged pulse with a high accuracy out long range so um, I'm one of those again that like to stay a little bit um, outside I don't want to engage up close and I try to rely on my accuracy so um, that may be something I try out then you have the art can you get it 21 um, again the magazine capacity is crazy on that one um, you know so it, it, it could be fired quick, quickly and charge up over time to increase in firepower as well so that looks pretty sweet you get your triple threat you get it level 28 which I I don't really know uh, what this is gonna be great for uh, looking at it here just offhand but you know all these weapons have some kind of you know um, special ability that you may like about it so this is a grenade launcher fires three grenades at once so I guess like it says here it excels at clearing out interiors so it's good if you're gonna shoot windows or in buildings you know you're not really going for the Titan kills with the or Titan you just want to go for the the pilot kills or the grunts and things like that this may be the weapon you want to try to use because I noticed a lot of times you have to be really accurate if you want to kill those pilots or titans with the other weapons above. But if you're going to use a grenade launcher, this has a good blast radius. You can actually do it close range with this thing. So um, with the tactical abilities, you have your vortex shield, which is basically if someone's shooting you, you call it your vortex shield. It's going to actually um, um, receive all the incoming ammo that they're shooting at you. You're going to hold it and you can blast it back at the, um, the opponent. What this becomes is if you have an opponent that's using this as well as on, on a titan, you basically want to, um, you know, it's almost like a chess match because if you're, if you call out your um, vortex shield, and he has it, pretty much he's, you're gonna collect all the bullets, and all of a sudden, boom, he's gonna call his, and it's just gonna uh, go back and forth, and he's gonna have the last shield, and he's gonna be able to blast it back at you. So what you normally want to do is kind of play it a little safe, um, call out your shield, um, just f shortly, and then he'll call out his, and you know, just kind of play around with it a little bit. You're gonna have to get uh, familiar with how to use the shield to your advantage, but. Um, it shouldn't take you no time to figure it out. Um, another thing I like is electric smoke. You get this at level 13. This is going to deploy a dense electrical charged smoke cloud around the enemy. Around your Titan, mind you. So if an enemy actually gets on top and rodeos you, instead of you disembarking from your Titan to take the guy out, you just call it electrical smoke, boom, he's gone, he's dead. Um, this is very um, helpful because a lot of times I notice if I get in a battle, I'll get rodeoed, I'll disembark, he'll hop off. I get back in and, and I my Titan, he comes back, rodeos me, and you just go back and forth. And it, it just sometimes gets very frustrating. So if you can do without the Vortex Shield, I do recommend Electric Smoke. It also gives a little bit of a, a cloud so you can maneuver without being seen um, against other Titans. So that's something. You got your Particle Wall at level 26. Uh, I never tried this out yet. It wasn't in a beta of the Alpha. This is a stationary force field that blocks all incoming fire on one side. So basically you lay it down, you can hide behind it, it's going to, you know, take all that fire and you can actually fire through it. So it's it's nice, but again, enemy weapons can damage it and eventually it will go down, but it is it, I think it would be actually pretty helpful. Um, so you don't really have to use your uh, electric or vortex shield. You can lay this down and uh, still fire and you know, it I think it might be worthwhile trying out. So I may give that a go at level 26. Uh, you have your ordnance, which, uh, you know, again, uh, a lot of people use the rocket salvo um, that don't really know. I mean, it's a decent weapon. Now, if you really want to do some damage so far, um, starting out, use the slave warheads. This is actually, it requ requires a lock on. Uh, but once you lock on, if you want, you can basically fire it straight up in the air, fire completely away from that Titan, and it's going to lock, it's going to curve in and get to him. So this is awesome. You get a lock on, you just fire this thing and forget about it, let it go. It's going to hit. Um, sometimes it may hit buildings, but more or less it's going to navigate around those and hit those uh, you know, titans. So this is something I do recommend. I really like it, but I am looking forward to the next ones, like a cluster missile you get at level 24. This uh, fires a missile, which uh, basically deploys a, a shower of secondary explosives. So, um, And basically the saturated area for a considerable time. So again, this sounds like something that would... Um, be pretty useful if you want to take out specters and grunts or any pilots around area too you just fire that at that sucker and then you know cause damage all around the area so that might be something pretty neat uh level 32 you get the multi-target missile system this enables you to engage multiple targets at once so basically just hold down this uh, ability control and sweep your view over the targets to paint them and then uh, once they're painted you just release it and you fire all the missiles at the painted targets so this is actually going to be pretty cool i'm really excited to try this out level 32 because um, there's always a bunch of specters, grunts, AI bots, and then you got sometimes pilots or even around Titans. So you don't have to use it at Titans. You can use it, you know, at the enemies and stuff, pilots. But with me, I like to go right at the other uh, Titans. So 
Um, I would actually probably paint the Titan and paint anybody around that Titan. So that's pretty cool. We're looking forward to trying that out. You have your kits, which is a nuclear ejection. This basically, um, whenever some of the Titan gets um, doomed, you're going to notice a really bright white uh, light. If you see one of these, you want to hurry up and get away from that area because this guy has nuclear ejection. This is going to briefly charge and detonate and dealing massive amounts of damage to anybody, anybody that's in the area, Titans included. So, um, you know, if you see that bright white light on a Titan and it's doomed, get out of there as quickly as possible. You have your regen booster. Uh, this is going to regenerate your uh, body shield at a faster rate, which is very useful to have. Um, you have your fast auto loader. Um, you get that at level 14. It's just going to replenish your um, ordnance faster and make you new, uh, um, more available frequently. So that's pretty nice to have. Um, you're going to have your dash quick charger. Again, with Titans, you get one or two dashes. Um, so basically, this will recharge faster, letting you uh, you know dash qu uh, quickly and frequently. And you have your tactical reactor. This uh, is going to make your tactical ability recharge faster. So uh, your vortex shield, smoke, particle wall, this will recharge a lot faster with this, and you get this at level 46. Again, there's 50 levels in the game. Um, uh, and I seem to be leveling up pretty quick. Uh, you do a bunch of challenges, which I would go over, uh, but there is a bunch. I mean, and I can't, you know, if I pause it and stuff, it just, it'd probably take another video. Um, but there is plenty of different char uh, challenges you can do, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I did notice on the stats and stuff, they do not have anything to compare your stats with other people online. It's just uh, personal records and things like that. Um, so that's, you know, you got your overview. Uh, the kill records, which is lifetime average and player average uh, against that kind of thing, and how much time he played in the game, the distance. So they got some things on there. I kind of wish it would expand a little bit more and showing your um, stats compared to other people, that kind of thing. So I was I was hoping for that, which we don't have maybe later another time we will. Um, you have your burn cards. Every time you complete a challenge, you get burn cards. These are what they kind of consider perks. Once you level up, you can have three, as you see here on um, the left-hand side. You can actually go and pick um, three that you want and just load them up. Now, um, when you um, spawn in, you can actually select one of the three that you put on the side to, for your next spawn. So, let's say I picked the Amped R101C. I would spawn in with a, uh, this one would be actually a more lethal carbine. So, um, I would have this, but as soon as I died, uh, it would be gone. So, you have it as long as you're alive for that life. When you're dead you're done for and you can pick another um no, excuse me sorry about that you can pick another burn card if you like um or you can basically just go normal so um you don't have to use them it's just nice sometimes you get them like this one's pretty cool you get full mini map vision i might try that out sometime i haven't seen that before uh, so they do have some advantages different ones you can get so um there's an audible warning when enemy players are nearby with spider sense uh, so yeah there's some neat ones i haven't tried out yet and um i kind of wish i knew how you know which ones are rare that kind of stuff um but uh so you see those are the burn cards you can only have so many and then eventually you're gonna have to use them or you're gonna have to discard them so um don't be shy about using these you guys um if you get them use them that's what they're there for you're gonna get other ones so um you know that's that's the burn card so um kind of stretch this out a little bit longer I'm sorry about that uh you know i would play some video gameplay in the background with this but you guys really should be seeing what i'm talking about um i appreciate you guys bearing with me through all this and i um, uh, appreciate you watching the video uh, again this is jim with jb gaming uh, thanks a lot you guys i will talk to you in my next video i'll post some more gameplay and stuff for titanfall later on if you guys have a special request on what you'd want to see please leave a comment below but um i'll talk to you later see ya